I'm often asked, what just is a pivot table and how useful can it be to me? Well, before we start looking at how to create pivot tables and customize those pivot tables so that they do meet your needs, we're going to have a little overview of what a pivot table actually does. If you have some data, as we have here in our sample pivot tables file, and on the sales data sheet, we just have some prices, quantities, items, and dates that they were sold. So if you have some data that sort of falls into this format quite a lot, a lot of rows, a lot of quantity, and you want to summarize that data, then a pivot table is the ideal tool. With this data here, we can create a number of pivot tables, and on the sample sheet, you will see them in action. We could create one that looks like this, that just summarizes each month and tells us how many of each item were sold. Now you could do exactly the same thing with a series of sum if statements, and we've seen how the sum if works. The advantage here is that this is a single tool. The pivot table creates this data for you. And if the data updates, we refresh the pivot table and the pivot table updates. A slightly more complicated pivot table is this one here that shows each of the items in our list. So ape find China mug, regardless of how many times it appears in the list, it will appear once in the pivot table because we've effectively grouped it. And then we've calculated the sales. So we've used a calculated field in our pivot table. Because in the sales data, we can see how many we've sold and the price. And in the sample, we then calculate the total sales. And here we've grouped by the item title. So there's quite a few items, so that's quite a long pivot table. Now, another step further than that with your pivot tables is to use row and column headings as we have here. So we see the same items are grouped in the row headings. So that's each of our items. And then we've created column headings for each of the months. And where they then cross and meet, so February for Aquarius, we see a sales total. March for Beagle Puppies, we see a sales total. And we can go all the way along to December. And you can see December obviously was a lot busier than the other months, it being Christmas. There we have 146 is the total there for November. And the item is Cycling Latte Mug. So anywhere you are in the pivot table, you see a result. So this is a cross tabulated table and you can see that when you hover it tells you which row you're on which in this case is the dun horses mug and coaster set and the column is november so even if it doesn't fit on your screen because of resolution or font size you can see just by hovering where it gets its value from now this pivot table also has an additional filter at the top here for the town where we can filter by the town data so that's just another column in your data set the town and we might want to filter by Barnsley. OK, and we see exactly the same little table here, obviously a lot smaller, being filtered by Barnsley. So these are the sales totals for November and August, and those are the items that get sold. Now, this page filtering option can allow you to select multiple items. So we could select quite a few of the letter A ones. Let's have most of the letter A ones, shall we? And OK. And we see the sales totals for those towns. So we only see those particular items and the months that they apply to. And in the filter list, the ticks are applied. So that's by selecting multiple items. If I take that tick off, we can only select a single item. Or we can choose all, and all the data will come back. So that's essentially what a pivot table is. It pivots your data around into this summarized data, either in a very simple format, as we saw with the first pivot table, where it was simply summarizing the quantity sold per month, or a more complicated pivot table that has that pivot option effectively with the months across the top, items down the left, where they meet, we get the sales total, and then the additional option of filtering that whole table by another one of the columns in your data. Hopefully, you're now interested and in captured, and you want to learn how to do it yourself.